Welcome to Serialite Global's SunTracker 400 installation video. Here, you will learn how to install a standard 4x4 single mirror and triple mirror SunTracker 400. First, remove the protective film from each light well panel's reflective side. Run single-sided insulating foam tape from the top to bottom along the inside of the vertical flange on the side of each light well panel, with the adhesive side to the flange. Arrange a dry fit of the light well assembly using all four panels to form a box. Make sure the outward flange is at the top and the inward flange is at the bottom. Slide the vertical flange of each light well panel on the outside of each straight vertical edge of the adjacent light well panel. Make sure adjacent light well panels are even from top to bottom before screwing any panels together. Screw the light well panels together through the vertical flange and foam tape. Place a screw within 2 inches of the top and the bottom and one screw every 8 inches in between from top to bottom. Repeat for all four light well edges. Apply silicone sealant to all four sides of the bottom inner flange of the assembled light well. Gently lower the bottom diffuser lens down into the bottom of the light well and press the edges of the diffuser lens into the sealant. With the bottom diffuser lens secure, lift the assembled light well over the curb and slide it down into the building interior. The top outer facing flanges of the light well should sit flush upon the top of the curb all the way around. Apply foam tape to the perimeter of the top of the light well on all four top outward facing flanges with the adhesive side down. Place the dome frame down upon the curb. Make sure the dome frame sits level on the curb before moving on. Screw the dome frame to the curb using the three prefabricated holes on each of the four sides of the frame, applying pressure as needed. Proper installation of the post is one of the most critical parts of the SunTracker installation. If the post is not correctly installed, the SunTracker will not work to its fullest potential. For this step, you will need one vertical post, two lock washers, one bolt, and a bottle of Loctite. Take the bolt and place one lock washer upon it. Slide the bolt up through the hole located at the center of the crossbar. When raised up through the crossbar, slide another lock washer down onto the bolt. Screw and slightly tighten the vertical post down onto the bolt until a half inch from the crossbar. Apply a few drops of Loctite to the visible threads of the bolt. Adjust the vertical post until the flat side of the D-shape hole at the top of the vertical post is perpendicular to true south. Make sure to use true south and not magnetic south. We recommend you use a smartphone application for this. All digital applications will vary by service provider. Once the vertical post is facing the correct direction, securely hold it in place and with your other hand, Firmly tighten the bolt from below the crossbar until it is completely fastened. First, remove the protective film from the mirror's reflective side. Slide the mirror with the reflective side facing down to the bracket's long bend onto the three small screw posts of the bracket. Affix the mirror to the mirror bracket by placing and tightening a thumb screw on each of the three bracket screw posts. Take the GPS controller and slide its three posts through the three prefabricated holes 
at the end of the long bend of the mirror bracket. Position the GPS with the solar panel hanging over the edge of the bracket, away from the mirror. Secure the GPS controller to the bracket by tightening one thumb screw to each of the two screw posts protruding from the bottom of the GPS controller. Take the entire single mirror array and slide the D-shaped GPS post into the D-shaped hole at the top of the vertical post. Gently rotate the single mirror array until the solar panel on the GPS controller faces the sun. For this step, you will need one vertical post, two lock washers, one bolt, and a bottle of Loctite. Take the bolt and place one lock washer upon it. Slide the bolt up through the hole located at the center of the crossbar. When raised up through the crossbar, slide another lock washer down onto the bolt. Screw and slightly tighten the vertical post down onto the bolt until a half inch from the crossbar. Apply a few drops of Loctite to the visible threads of the bolt. Adjust the vertical post until the flat side of the D-shape hole at the top of the vertical post is perpendicular to true south. Make sure to use true south and not magnetic south. We recommend you use a smartphone application for this. All digital applications will vary by service provider. Once the vertical post is facing the correct direction, securely hold it in place and with your other hand, Firmly tighten the bolt from below the crossbar until it is completely fastened. Remove the protective film from each mirror's reflective side. Attach the largest sized mirror to the end of the mirror bracket's flat portion by aligning the mirror's brace to the bracket's prefabricated hole and putting a lock pin through the mirror's brace and bracket. The largest sized mirror's reflective side should face towards the mirror bracket's center cut holes. Attach the medium sized mirror to the center of the mirror bracket and the smallest sized mirror to the mirror bracket's curved end by putting a lock pin through each mirror's brace and the bracket. The medium-sized and smallest-sized mirrors, reflective sides should face the same direction as the largest-sized mirror. Take the GPS controller and slide its three posts through the top of the mirror bracket's center three prefabricated holes. Position the solar panel of the GPS controller towards the small mirror. Secure the GPS controller to the mirror bracket by tightening one thumb screw to each of the two screw posts protruding from the bottom of the GPS controller. Take the entire triple mirror array and slide the D-shaped GPS post inside the D-shaped hole at the top of the vertical post. With the triple mirror array, make sure to slide the post through the hole in the middle-sized mirror before placing the array upon the post. Remove the frame retainer cap from the dome frame and place the plastic dome onto the dome frame. The edges of the plastic dome should be parallel and evenly distributed over the weather stripping of the frame. Be sure the edges extend beyond the weather stripping on each side. Place a line of silicone sealant approximately a half inch from the dome's edge around the entire dome. Then replace the frame retainer cap over the outer perimeter of the dome and frame. And finally, screw the frame retainer cap down to the dome frame, applying force upon the frame retainer cap while screwing. Make sure to screw through the middle etching along all four outer sides of the frame retainer cap into the dome frame. 
use four self-tapping screws on the outer side of all four sides of the frame retainer cap. Congratulations, you've successfully installed a Searlight Sun Tracker 400.